Hi everyone out in YouTube world, internet land. This is Kirsten Hall again with Box Point Publishing coming to you this afternoon with yet another introduction interview. This afternoon we are speaking with AJ Sullivan. She actually already has her first book out and uh, we are finally getting around to asking her her five or six questions for our scripted reality show. But right now before we get started, AJ, do you want to say hi to everyone out in internet land. Hello, out in YouTube land. It's good to meet you. All right. Well, she is a very interesting person. She was supposed to do her uh, interview. Actually, I started talking to her about this about May or June, and she has um, evaded us for about the last three months on this until she was actually on another um, Facebook Live event last Thursday with a local bookstore. And I was watching it and I thought, oh, hey, she still needs to do her conversational interview with us. So instantly fired off an email to her. I said, look, I know you're out there and pick five or six questions and we're going to we're going to get this done. So that's what we're doing today. So the first question out um, a little bit about yourself, education, family life. Go. Wow. Well, I am one of six children. My mother has, my mother published books. My son has published books and um, writing and creative things tend to run in my family. I have two grown sons and I was a single mom for a long time. I have a degree in marketing and I was in the United States Navy for four and a half years back in uh, 80 to 84. It was interesting work. <laughs> All right. And um, are we going to talk more about that? Down? I haven't read Wait, all your questions. Do you want me to? Well, let's see. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> well, it's not in the rest of your questions. So, okay. Yeah, if, if uh, you want to expand so, on that. Well, when I was in the Navy, I was stationed in Monterey, California at the Defense Language Institute where I learned Russian. And I'm sure everyone out in YouTube land can figure out what I did with Russian. And so we were in, stationed in Spain for three and a half years and that's where uh, I had my first son. And when we got back, Speaking Russian is not something that I could have done unless I went to, say, Washington, D.C., and I wasn't willing. So I ended up working for, um, yep, for Philips Lighting. I worked there for 28 years. I ended up uh, a product manager with hospital lighting and helped to design some hospital light fixtures. And uh, now I am at the local high school here in Austin, Minnesota, where I moved in order to be near my grandchildren. And um, I work in the College and Career Center. And I have wanted to publish for years, but here I am now almost ready to retire and just finally doing it. Well, good deal. And and she's got an awfully cute series. It's called the Bobby Bear book series. And it's probably what, 10, 12 or more books in that series, but it's terribly Hard to cute. Say. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bobby Bear goes on a lot of adventures, but um, well, he will determine how many books there are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's a very cute book. It sells very well. Um, and people gush over it. We'll show it to you. Oh, yep, there she is. She's showing it. It is just, it's a cute book and I will put it's links. Backwards. Oh no, no, it's backwards for you, but it comes across oh, okay. normal for us. Yes. Um, but yeah, I will um, uh, yeah. put links in there and she actually already had her virtual event for her book launch. And so I'll put a link on the comment section also with, um, you know, the buy links and the information and the virtual event launch and all of that. So you'll, you'll get to know Bobby Bear really well. All right, uh, next up, uh, when you're not writing, how do you spend your time? Oh boy, you know, <laughs> I kind of have three jobs right now, writing, the one at the school, and then I'm being trained to be a life coach. So I'm very, very busy. I do a lot of reading and um, researching for 
other books besides Bobby Bear. Um, he's already in my head. So <laughs> I don't need to research any more for him. And um, along with Bobby Bear, um, you also write young adult YA, uh, kind of tween stuff. And then right. you've got some possible mysteries, adult fiction stuff coming up as well. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. And, and this is all pulled out of real life or imagination or a combination? Combination. Okay. Some of them are more based on real life. Um, the YA books are probably more from real life and the mysteries not so much. Okay. Well, I know our local bookstore, according to last week's interview with her, she's very interested in those. <laughs> <laughs> the mysteries and the adult. Okay. Anyway, yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I had talked with her after your interview and she was very interested. So, and I like the whole idea with the fireside chat. Um, so, yes. for the people out in YouTube world wondering what in the world I'm talking about, Lisa, local bookstore owner, comes out and does a porch talk with authors. But maybe in the winter she'll do fireside chat. So, there you go. All right, uh, when and why did you begin writing? I began writing when I was six years old. It's something that, um, I don't know, it just came naturally. And I, with my father's job, we moved every two to four years from the time I was three until I left home to go to college. So. Uh, I've had experiences all over the country. I've lived in 12 states. And so I started writing about my experiences. Most of them are just short stories. I've written some poems. I've written some Bible studies. I've written um, articles. When I was at Phillips, I did a lot of professional writing for in white papers and um, trade magazine articles and that kind of thing. So okay. it's part of me it's part of who i am and do you want to tell everyone out here um how bobby bear came into being sure so my kids were one and uh almost four not quite and they bugged me all the time for bedtime stories and i started making up bobby bear and so these are the stories that I told my kids when they were little. That's 33 years ago. You get around to these things. <laughs> I understand. Um, all right, outside of family members, name one entity that supported your commitment to becoming a published author. My high school English teacher. He, I, we had to do a lot of writing for composition and he waited one day as people were leaving and as they left, he said, you know, you're really a writer. You should really pursue that. And then I didn't, shame on me, but here I am. But he was very encouraging and he uh, made sure to be very specific in his critique of my writing and it helped a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, all right, and is there a message in your novel that you want readers to grasp? Well, in the Bobby Bear series, there's a little lesson in each. It won't necessarily be obvious. Uh, the first one for uh, Bobby Bear Goes Fishing is how important relationship between children and their grandparents is. Mm -hmm. um, the next one, <laughs> We'll wait until we get to the next one. <laughs> there will always be a point in, in mm -hmm. what I write. It's just part of my writing style. Well, yeah. Um, okay. Well, no, those are the questions you uh, came up with. I will spring a surprise one on you just for fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your desk look like? My Describe desk is always a mess. Someone gave me a sign one time that um if a if a cluttered desk equals a cluttered mind what does an empty desk indicate mm -hmm. exactly because <laughs> yes i my desk so there i was it was also told to me that there are big picture people and more organized 
focused people. And I tend to be a big picture person. So I see the overall um, idea or goal. And I'm not quite as good at the individual pieces. Um, I can do them and have for many years, but um, it's probably not my strength. I think I would get lost if on a clean desk, I would get lost. I mean, I'd be like, what am I supposed to do? And if, if I could, oh, is, is that the little- My dog, I'm sorry, she's playing. Oh, do I need no. to take it away? <laughs> oh no, you're fine, you're fine. All right, well, um, we will let you get back to playing with Lola. And um, all right, do you want to say anyone say anything else before we run away and- You know, one time I had somebody clean up my desk for me and then I couldn't find anything. That's I knew exactly where everything was. So it's I had just, to re-clutter it. It's, it's frustrating, yes. It is. Anyway. So, but now I'm a little more organized. I have each story in its own folder. And mm -hmm. so I know right where to go. Oh, good. The older I get, the more important that is. Good, good, good. All right. Well, we will let you get back to playing with Lola, or at least Lola making a lot of noise with her. Sorry. I can, I can, no, 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 that's fine. I, I've had dogs and kids, and I understand. Um, anyway, all right. Well, thank you to everyone for joining us this afternoon. Yes. Thank and, you. Um, yeah, I will put all the information down in the comment link below there. Um, all the different, like I said, all the different buy links or virtual event links or websites, etc. And um, there you go. I was going <laughs> to say something else, but apparently my mind is too clean today, and <clears throat> what that just sounds off. No, no, no. never mind. I'm not no, comment. On that. no comment. No <laughs> comment. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, AJ, for joining us today. And we will see you later. You guys have a great day. Fabulous day. And Bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye.